Hey everybody, Yaniv Hoffman is here. Thank you for coming back to the channel. And today we'll speak about NIST, the Cyber Security Framework. So cybersecurity is a major concern of all types of organizations throughout the globe, and therefore protecting private and sensitive data seems difficult. Increase in cyber breaches has been faced by both tech and non-tech firms across the world. Ransomware attacks are increasing exponentially, and according to SonicWall, ransomware attacks have been increased by 150% in the United States only. So to cope with the current cybersecurity breaches and to protect the key IT infrastructure, every organization must have a plan. NISC can assist organizations in implementing these plans to protect these key assets and sensitive business information. So what is NIST Cybersecurity Framework? And NIST stands for National Institute of Standards and Technology, which is affiliated with the US Department of Commerce. The cybersecurity framework of NIST is a good tool to use and improve the cybersecurity of an organization. The framework contains a set of rules, guidelines, and practices to strengthen the overall cybersecurity posture of an organization. The rules and standards defined by the framework assist organization in identifying and preventing cybersecurity attacks that may endanger the privacy of the organizations. The framework also contains tools that let the organization to respond, prevent, and recover from cybersecurity breaches. The framework also let the organization to understand, manage, and minimize the cybersecurity risk to protect their key IT infrastructure. Functions or elements of NIST cybersecurity framework. There are five key function elements of the NIST cybersecurity framework which can be used by any organization to improve its overall cybersecurity posture. The first one is identity. And this function is related to the identification and understanding of cybersecurity risks linked to the systems, network, data, and key IT assets. So this function allows organizations to set foundation for implementing effective cybersecurity programs. Activities related to this function are identifying all the assets, including networks, data, pieces, software, their needs for protection, developing cybersecurity policy, which must include roles and responsibilities of the individuals, and developing guidelines to mitigate the cybersecurity risk and recovery of the key assets after a cyber incident, and last but not least, identifying threats, vulnerabilities, and developing risk management strategies. Second function is protect. And protect function of the NIST framework defines the security controls that are necessary to protect the key assets in order to ensure the delivery of crucial, critical key assets in case of cybersecurity breach. Activities that are included in this function are maintain and controlling network and information system logs, using programs such as antivirus, intrusion detection, and prevention systems to protect the network and sensitive data from intrusions, encryption of data that is either in transit or in rest, updating the key assets such as software, PCs, and programs to fault regularly updates, concluding frequent data backups, developing policy for securing disposal of electronic and paper uh, files, and last but not least, conducting regular awareness sessions to train employees about the current trends in cybersecurity and let employees know their roles in improving the cybersecurity of the organization. The third function is detect, and this function is related to the activities which are used to identify the cybersecurity incidents in a timely manner. And key activities including detect functions are regular monitoring of network and information system to trace out anomalies activities and their potential impact, auditing the network and application for unauthorized access, 
and last but not least, ensuring that monitoring devices and programs are capable to detect cybersecurity incidents and make sure that protective measures are effective to mitigate the cyber breaches. The fourth function is respond. The main purpose of this function is to take action against a cybersecurity breach and to contain its effectiveness. Activities of these functions are notify all of the individuals, including employees, customers, vendors, etc., in case of cybersecurity incidents whose data may be compromised. Ensure business operations are smoothly running during and after a cybersecurity incident. Investigate the origin and cause of the breach containing the effectiveness of the incident, reporting the incident to the concerned authorities and individual during law enforcement agencies and executive management, updating the current security policies and system to avoid the similar cybersecurity incident in the future. Last but not least, devising policies and incident response plan for natural and manageable disasters to protect the key assets of the organization. The fifth function is recover. And the recover function is the combination of activities that are necessary to restore the services that are affected by the cyber incidents. Timely recovery from a cyber attack resides its potential impacts. Activities that include this function of NIST framework are maintaining and following the recovery processes to ensure that the systems are restored after a cyber incident ensuring that the lessons plans of incidents are incorporated in the recovery plans, continuously updating the recovery plans, maintain relations with the customers and other stakeholders after the incident, keeping the organization reputation after the cyber incident, and last but not least, informing stakeholders about the recovery activities that are conducted restore the business operation. What are the components of the framework? And NIST cybersecurity framework consists of three main components, the core implementation tiers and the profiles. Now the core, the core components of the framework provide set of cybersecurity activities and guidelines that are necessary to manage and reduce the cybersecurity risks of an organization. The second component is tiers, and tiers assist the organizations to understand the context of cybersecurity risk management in their business environment. The component is often used as communication tool to understand organization cybersecurity risk appetite, organization mission, and budget. The third component called profiles, and profiles are used to find and prioritize opportunities to improve the cybersecurity posture of an organization. So how to get start with NIST cybersecurity framework? Organization can start with the NIST framework by following its five core function elements in the following way. One, using tools to identify functions such as assets management, developing cybersecurity policies and understanding of business environment to identify their key assets. The second is firewall, intrusion prevention system can be implemented to protect the key assets of the organization, but not all. DDoS components, WAF components, bot management components, etc. Organization can also use antivirus, SIM systems, and intrusion detection systems to detect any anomalous cyber activities. Incidents of response plans and other incident response tools can be implemented by an organization as response function to the framework. And last but not least, and very important, Backup and recovery tool can be used to the organization as part of the recovery function. Thank you for watching this uh, video. If it was insightful, please let me know. And if you have any more suggestions or ideas for additional videos, I will be happy to address. Please like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.